Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've done my last tutorial and that's because there have been some technical, technically, <laughs> there have been some issues and I don't know why my character isn't talking, but let's forget about it. Today I'll be showing you how to use animation chips, which are like very, very hard to use. So let's get straight into it. So we're here. We've got this beautiful person right here to do our we test on. So first, you're gonna go to your watch, then your backpack, and get your maker pen. Since I have mine favorited, I can just pull it out my back. What if you don't want that? You can just use, and it's right there for you to grab. So what you gotta do first is take any invention desire or object connect get wire connect this top thing to every single body part that you want moved okay then you take where is it edit right here and you edit this there should be a new menu so all you have to do is it shows everything here that you need. So all you have to do is press add. Okay. Then take everything you need that you need to move. So let's just say I want him to say hello. So I move his hand. And if I make this go however I want, like play. See, he moves his hand. Okay. Now let's make him wave. Add another one, so we move it like that. Press add again and move it there. Press add. And if you want, you can go back to the first frame, copy, go back to this frame, or the one you want copied, and press paste. Now, if you press play, there you go. You can make it loop if you want, all that smooth. Just put it on smooth. Okay. And just exit out of here. Let's see, where is it? We're going to go into edit, no, configure. Where is it there? Go on to this. You can make it a loop or ping pong speed percentage. So just going to make that, let's say 150. You can do stop at end, stop at start. And then roll restrictions is grabbable, frozen, and hide during games. So, after that, if you wanted to keep on going without a button or anything, just go to this little, little zero, configure, and press 1, the plus button. And he keeps on doing it. So, we've got this beautiful lad again, and now we're going to make him do something a bit more complicated. So, let's just do the same thing again. Let's see. Tools. Wire. Right over here. And then edit. Let's start from the start. So now I want him to get down on the floor like this. So where is it? If I can find oh there it is. So select. So I want the whole body to go down. Select him. Make him go down. Okay. Please select everything. Make his hands go on the bottom. We're going to make him do push-ups. Okay. Let's just say I want his head. Uh, actually. Do. Okay. Now I have him like that. Add. Okay, now we're going to select the whole, this part again. 
move it up. This is just with simple models with no arms. I'll do a tutorial after this video on how to do it with like arms, basically. Okay. Now you add another one. Go back to the first frame or second one. Copy. And paste. Then if I press play. Hold on. Something isn't right. I'll just delete this frame here. Press play. There you go. And then to fix that little pause there that he does. Oh, never mind. Just put it on smooth. That's basically it. There is that one. So we have... Number one, saying hello. Number two, say, doing push-ups. Just configure. Put it out one. And it keeps doing that. Right. For the second one, we're going to do something a bit... Actually, no, just more complicated. So we're going to do the same thing again. Edit and press add. We're gonna make him turn around, say hello, and then get on the ground. So basically, do the same thing first frame, select. Okay, maybe rotate. Right in the place that he is. Okay. Deselect everything. Make him add another one. Move. Pick the desired hand of choice. Okay. Then add. Add again. Add another one. Pick the frame where he had the hands at the bottom. Copy. Paste. Add. Select. Select all of him. Now we're going to make him go on the ground. It's going to align that perfectly. So it doesn't look too rubbish. Okay. The no. Deselect everything except for the head and uh well, head and body. Put hands on the floor. Select these two parts. And move up. Add, move down, add, then we'll do this one, paste, oh, try to move his hands back to normal, okay, then we take the part where he turns around, copy, add, paste. Now, if we watch that, he says, hello, gets on the ground, does some push-ups, gets back up, turns around. That's a glitch that can have some, happen sometimes, but don't worry about it. But this is just a simple video on how to use it, so it's nothing too complicated. As lots of people weren't sure about the instructions on... The daylight nighttime one. So here we go. He does the push ups, gets back up, turns around, does a wee glitch, I don't know why. Says hello and just does his thing. Now we press done. Configure. Actually, no. We're gonna go to palette. 
and circuits, gadgets. Let's see, is it here? There it is. Get a button. Push me. Oh, it's a button V2. Wrong one, my bad. Back to pallet. Okay. I'm just gonna search this one up. Why is my keyboard like that? Okay, button, place. Now we're gonna take the tools wire and when button is pressed play so if you go to do that now it does it and if you want him let's configure and stop at end so then when we do this does this we act Got a wee bolt spot in the back. Does his wee push ups. Turns around. And stops completely. So then you have to push the button again. Alright. That's basically everything you have to know about simple animations. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a really quick one. But I will try and do my research and find out how to do the... The more complicated version of animation circuits but this is just a simple one so I hope you guys enjoyed the video i know i haven't uploaded in a while but don't worry there'll be more coming soon hope you enjoyed see you later stay smiling